good afternoon and welcome i am dr ritu shaha associate professor and head department of microbiology today i am going to continue the next session of the paramyx of virus which i have started in previous class in previous class we discussed about the measles virus its epidemiology its properties its clinical feature and incubation and pathogenesis in today's session i am going to discuss about the measles virus uh, outcome complications laboratory diagnosis and some immunological features of measles virus with you what is modified measles it is a condition occurs in infant with residual maternal antibody they carry from the mothers with placental source here incubation period is prolonged prodromal symptoms are diminished that means fever cough coryza are not appearing complex spot is absent and mild rash is present complications of measles virus infection most common complication is secondary bacterial infection uh, that is pneumonia secondary bacterial pneumonia is most commonly occurred by beta hemolytic group of streptococcus otitis media it's also a most common complication lower respiratory tract infection which is serious and in 15% cases lower respiratory tract infection occur and here pulmonary complication accounts more than 90% deaths measles pneumonia may be two type it's sec uh, secondary bacterial pneumonia we discussed previously and another type is giant cell pneumonia giant cell pneumonia may be occur in children with immune deficiency it's believed to be due to unrestrained viral replication here extensive cell fusion in the lung tissue that turned into fatal outcome post infectious encephalomyelitis in about 1 is to 1000 cases surviving patients may develop mental retardation here autoimmune cause is suggested encephalitis is another common complication of measles virus encephalitis is divided into three type one is measles inclusion body encephalitis one is sub acute sclerosing panencephalitis and one is giant cell encephalitis measles inclusion body encephalitis here progressive measles inclusion body encephalitis may be developed in patients with defective cell mediated immunity here actively replicating virus is present in the brain tissue that turn into fatal outcome of the disease sub acute sclerosing panencephalitis it is a rare and invariably fatal neurological disorder develops year after the initial measles infection sspe is caused by viruses that remains in the body after acute measles virus infection here large amount of measles antigens are present within inclusions in infective brain cells but no virus particle is mature viral replication is defective owing to lack of one to two viral gene products often matrix protein presence of intracellular measles virus in the brain tissue suggest failure of immune system to eliminate the viral infection incidence vary between 1 is to 3 lakhs or 1 is to million in 5 to 15 years progressive mental retardation involuntary movement and muscular rigidity and coma occur in ssp this figure show you about the encephalitis or measles inclusion body encephalitis it occurs within days measles inclusion body encephalitis may occurs uh, between 1 to 10 months whereas ssp occurs between 1 to 10 years ophthalmic complication night blindness may be occur due to rapid excretion of vitamin a which may turn into blindness diarrhea may be occur myocarditis thrombocytopenic purpura are rare complication of measles virus infection 
Now measles in pregnancy. Measles in pregnancy may lead to spontaneous abortion and premature delivery. Immunity. Only one antigenic type of measles virus that means it gives lifelong immunity after subclinical or clinical infection in patients with intact immune system. An effective vaccine is available against measles virus which is included in our EPI schedule. Presence of antibody indicates humoral immunity, cell mediated immunity must also relevant to protection. Patients with immune globulin deficiency recover from measles virus and resist reinfection more whereas patients with cell mediated immune deficiency recover very poorly when they acquire a measles infection. Now we are discussing about the laboratory diagnosis of measles virus infection. Most of the cases are diagnosed on the clinical basis but we can confirm it in laboratory testing. Specimen, nasopharyngeal secretion and blood for serological test. Microscopy, we do microscopy for immunofluorescence test from clinical specimen. Direct smear is stained by Gymsha stain. Here giant cell and inclusion bodies are observed. Isolation or culture of measles virus infection. Nasopharyngeal swab and bloods are collected during febrile stage and inoculated into cell line culture. Example of cell line cultures are vero cell, hep2 cell, monkey kidney cell, human fibroblast cell, etc. In the cell line, we observe cytopathic effect with multinucleated giant cell and extra and intracellular inclusion bodies. Now serological test. We collect blood for serological test. Four full rise of antibody titer indicates acute infection. Serological test is done by ELISA and hemagglutination inhibition test. Treatment of measles virus. No specific treatment for measles virus, but we can supplement vitamin A for deficiency of vitamin A and complications related to vitamin A deficiency such as night blindness. Prevention and control, it is antigenically stable so very tremendous outcome in prevention of the disease is observed and in our EPI schedules measles vaccine is included. Measles vaccine is combined with rubella vaccine, previously it is uh, given as combination of measles, mumps, rubella vaccine but nowadays only measles, rubella is given as vaccine as a single dose at 9 months. Use of killed measles vaccine was discontinued after 1970 as certain vaccines develop severe atypical measles where infection with wild virus. Role of vitamin A and zinc in preventing ophthalmic complications Vitamin A deficiency, excretion of vitamin A in urine is increased in measles virus infection. Measles also cause diarrhea. So here is less absorption of vitamin A which may lead to deficiency of vitamin A. Zinc, zinc is given to prevent immune deficiency because during measles there is cell mediated immune deficiency occur. Now what are the classical childhood viral Exanthes or fever with rashes occur in our country. Most common cause is measles occurring by measles virus, rubella by rubella virus, chicken pox is occurred by varicella zoster virus, roseola infantum is occurring due to human herpes virus 6 and parvovirus B19 cause erythema infections or fifth disease. Why there is depression of cell mediated immunity in measles virus and consequence of it. Most common example is in case of mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, co-infection with measles virus. Here cell mediated immunity is suppressed and the loss of purified protein derivative skin test reactivity occurs and reactivation of dormant TB bacilli and clinical disease occurs. The cause of immune suppression in measles virus is probably suppression of interleukin 12 when the measles virus binds with 
macrophage receptor it suppresses secretion of interleukin 12 which is necessary for our cell mediated immunity the cell mediated immunity is suppressed and loss of uh, tuberculin skin test reactivity occur in tuberculosis infection. Thank you very much for your patient sharing. In next session, we will discuss about another important paramyxovirus that is mumps. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.